Rediscover Flow at discoverflow.co. Flow, inspired by you. The new farmers of today are using more sustainable agricultural methods where even arable land and soil aren't required. Agriculture Minister Qasim Hussein also pointed out over the weekend that the drive just isn't there for young people to engage in traditional farming. Agriculture today is no longer about traditional methods. It is an industry of the future driven by technology, innovation and entrepreneurship. Many of these integrated modern techniques such as hydroponics, shade houses, farming and aquaculture. And a local company known as Aquatic Solutions is promoting and providing aquaculture, aquaponic and hydroponic systems to ensure this new segment of agriculture can thrive. UWI's Faculty of Food and Agriculture PhD student Rakesh Bukal combined selling these systems for everyday use and also helping to cultivate the next generation of aquaponics practitioners. For instance, with hydroponics, um, cost could be a major limiting factor for most persons because you know the purchase of expensive pumps, um, chemical fertilizers, you know those types of things. So what we do in some of our training programs is that we teach people the the, the theory or the or the know-how, and then they could basically take that and, uh, and utilize and everyday items. He said these types of agriculture eliminates the need for available arable land and uses soilless systems, which reduces pest infringement. So basically all it does is utilize a shallow film of water at the base of the plant roots. So as you can see, there's no, there's no soil in the system, right? So the good thing about hydroponics is that it's soilless and it's easy to maintain, right? In terms of the fact that you don't really need to, you know, condition the soil and those types of things, right? And also you eliminate a lot of pests and disease that is also there in soil. Mr. Bukal pointed out that these are cost-effective systems which can be implemented in almost any environment, including an ordinary home kitchen. Now, because the plants are under this rack, it may not get the light that it requires. So what we did, we hybridized the system by including some plant grow lights in it. As for not being able to grow bigger crops, Mr. Bukal said that's almost a myth in his opinion. Right, because there's a grow media inside of it, what the grow media does is allow for anchorage of those plants so they can keep supported and they can keep the weight, they can uphold the weight of the plants. So things like tomatoes, peppers, um, melon gen, those things grow. We have even done things like zucchini, the imported ones as well too. And he explained the advantages of using both aquaponics and hydroponics. Now aquaponics is basically hydroponics, but instead of utilizing a nutrient-rich solution to grow the plants, we incorporate fish into, into a fish tank and we utilize the wastewater from that to grow the plants. Mr. Bukal said he continues to see a major interest in those types of farming from the younger generation and believes such farming will eventually cultivate its own future. I am Sonolala with your TTT News Business Insight. Discover Flow at discoverflow.co. Flow inspired by you. Get extra credit for back to school with Flow. Save $1,300 for a year when you sign up, switch, or upgrade to an everything you need plan. Plus, get $500 cash back. Terms and conditions apply. Offer ends September 30th. Visit us online or in store for details. Flow, inspired by you.